Marriage is a spiritual covenant. It's not a civil contract. You see, contracts are based on distrust and law, while covenants are based on trust and on love. As you both gave your individual lives to Christ in faith, so now you come in that same faith to commit your lives to one another in the spiritual covenant called marriage. I prayed for you, dreamed of you, and it was like I saw a light. I have no doubts or unsettled thoughts about our relationship. You are the man that God prepared for me. You make my father and mother proud, and you are the love of my life. I love that you put God first in your life, and that we both know he is the reason for our union. I love that you honor your mother and father, your family, and you put them all first. I love that you are patient and honest. I promise to pray for and take care of you, your family, and our children. I promise to communicate with you, to respect you, and to honor you. After 66 years of marriage, we loved, honored, and respected each other. In Ephesians chapter 5, there are some other fun. Uh, the husband is the head of the household, as Christ is the head of the church, to love and nurture her. The wife respects and loves her husband, and she feeds and cares for him, as Christ does the church. Speak to the one, to one another softly and always give thanks to God, the Father, for, for everything. I love you both and wish I could be there. You may kiss your bride. <laughs>